So without a doubt, the two biggest questions I get for laptops as far as graphic designers are concerned when they go to purchase them is the color accuracy and the battery life. And so I've made multiple videos about the best laptops for graphic designers. I've made the best budget laptops, best laptops under $1,000, the best overall high performance laptops. And it all always kind of comes back to battery life, color accuracy, and then the third one I could say would be price. And so I created this video in order to make sure that you get these two specific questions answered and get your problem solved, get that laptop you need and get on down the road with what you need to be doing as a graphic designer. So first and foremost, before we dive into this video, if you're interested in these laptops, you wanna know the exact specifications, the pricing, et cetera, you can use the links in the description below. Those are affiliate links, and I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps these videos coming out and this channel alive for the helpful information that comes your way. Second thing I wanna talk about is the fact that this is not an all-inclusive review of each individual laptop. I'm just showcasing the laptops that I found have great battery life. If you want to check out full laptop reviews, head on over to the, my channel and jump into those. So we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna jump right into the laptop recommendations. And the first laptop I recommend is the Gigabyte Aero 15. The Gigabyte Aero 15 is spec to get around 10 hours of battery life. But when you consider the task you're gonna be doing as a graphic designer, this pulls it back to more around seven hours of battery life, which is still almost a full day's work. Um, and especially if you're a student, as you know, you're breaking up from class to class and going to your dorm or going to a coffee shop, whatever, you can have a chance to kind of plug in and get a little extra juice. This also has one of the best color accuracies in the business with 96% RGB. Um, so the Gigabyte Aero 15 is a great buy. It's not exactly a budget computer. It is a high performance machine. So it makes it great for graphic design, video editing, etc. The second laptop that I recommend is the Surface Book 2. This is the Mac Daddy of battery life. The reason being is it comes with two batteries, one battery in the screen and one battery in the keyboard deck. So when you connect those two, they guarantee 16 hours of battery life, but that's for simple word processing tasks and maybe you know watching a DVD or something. But as far as doing graphic design work or doing video editing, you're gonna get it down to probably about nine or 10 hours of battery life, which is still phenomenal um, when you consider doing graphic design work all day. You're gonna get about 93% RGB color accuracy with the Surface Book 2. All right, the third one is the HP Spectre X360. The HP Spectre X360 has a pretty solid battery life. They say it's gonna get about eight to nine hours. Um, with doing graphic design tasks, I would say you're gonna get about five to six hours of battery life. This specific computer has an 87% RGB. It's not the best, but it's still up there. Uh, it is below the 90%, um, but unless you're really, 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 really needing 100% color accuracy, or excuse me, high 90% color accuracy, it's not gonna be the biggest deal. Um, if you wanna make sure your colors are just super accurate, you can always use uh, Pantone color coding. That's one way to solve that problem. The next laptop is the MacBook Pro, probably the most expensive laptop in this entire lineup, but it will give you seven to eight hours of battery life with the graphic design tasks. Now, I have kind of ragged on MacBook Pros in the past um, just because the performance has been lagging as far as the performance with Windows has been increasing. And so it's kind of up to you if you love that OS, if you wanna really be working within the Mac OS, then this will be a great buy for you. The color accuracy on a MacBook Pro is 99% RGB. So they definitely have that going for them as far as performance is concerned. They have excellent color accuracy. All right, number five for the best color accuracy and battery life for graphic design laptops will be the Dell XPS 15. Looking at around six to seven hours of battery life, this is personally my favorite computer. It's a computer I use on the day to day, and you're gonna get about 98.5% RGB. This computer is well equipped for graphic design. The performance is fantastic. I have had great results with it. I've had it for over two years now, and uh, it's been very faithful and very uh, reliable to me. They are coming out with a new model. I'm gonna link the current model, and then once the new model comes out, the newest model will be linked down below. So definitely check it out, pricing, specs, etc. And the last laptop I've put in here 
as a semi-budget laptop. The reason that these laptops might be more expensive on, from like a budget standpoint is I wanted to focus on laptops that had great battery life, great specs, and great color accuracy. So this isn't the budget category. This is you wanting to get, in a sense, the best of the best. And so this is the Lenovo Yoga 730. They're specking this laptop at about 10 to 11 hours uh, of battery life, which then translates to me, as far as graphic design is concerned, for about seven hours of battery life. This has 97% RGB color accuracy, and you can get two different models I'll have linked below. You can get the high-end model, which has the i7, and then there's more of a budget version that you can check out in the links below. I hope this has helped you. I've had a ton of questions on this topic. Uh, I love doing these videos. Please shoot your questions below if you have any more. Use those links. Again, affiliate links, a small commission to me, but at no extra cost to you. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I'm so grateful that you watched this video today, and I will see you here on the next episode.